Hello, everyone. We're going to continue with, uh, with solving activity number four. And so here I have the activity and I also have the answer in here. So remember for the first exercise, we have a triangular arbitrage, but without be done ask. So we can simply solve this uh, exercise. First, uh, I'm going to choose a strategy where I want to buy euros first. So this is what I will do in the first step. From $1 million, I use the rate of dollar euro, and I divide because I have dollars on top and dollars on top, so I need to divide. I have this amount of euros. Step number two is to buy pounds. I also have to divide using this rate, the dollar euro, sorry, the euro pound, this one over here. And then I need to go back to the US and buy dollars. So I use the pounds and this time I need to multiply because I have pounds on top pounds at the bottom, so they are crossed, and then I have to multiply it. I made a profit of $241. So remember in this case, if you made, if you chose the other strategy, just do it again with the right one and you will get profit. In the second exercise, we have to use bid and ask. And some of you were a bit confused about this thing in here, but remember this is only a, a way to call the bid and the ask. So it's the same rate, but bid is this and ask is this is the same, but with the two last decimals as 96. And here is the same and here is the same. You also have this other table. It's exactly the same thing, just in a different way to visualize it. Because we have bid and ask, uh, we are going to do the two strategies. It doesn't matter if we get profit or not. So we start with the, with the first one going to pounds. So when I go to buy pounds, starting from dollars, I need to use the dollar pound rate, which is this one of these two. And I need to decide if it's bid or ask. So remember, because I need to buy pounds and pounds are at the bottom, that means I need to use ask. So I use ask and I get this amount of pounds. Next step is um, with euro and pound, but now because I need euros and euros are on top, I use bid. And now I multiply. Then in the next one is again, I use bid again and I multiply and I get this amount of dollars, which means it's a loss. Then I do the other strategy by euros. I use the ask and I divide. And then in the next step, I also use the ask and I divide. And finally, in the last one, I use the bid because I need dollars and dollars are on top and I multiply. So in the end, I get a loss of almost $40. So in this, for this activity, in both cases, we have a loss. So remember, it's possible that you get loss, loss. In that case, you can conclude that it's not a good idea to do anything, or you can say that you can choose the one with less loss, like this one. 